sit before you. Thank you all very much for being here tonight. The Lord Sri Krishna tells that wherever my devotees are gathered together to see my glories, to share their realizations about me, I am forever living in that place. Srila Prabhupada often spoke that the place where people are taking intoxicants for the brothel, that place is in the most ignorance. The city is the most passionate about The forest in the countryside is Sattva Gona, the mother of goodness. But then Prabhupada became very strong. He said, but the temple of the Supreme Personality of Godhead is by Kunta, the spiritual world. Now when Srila Prabhupada was speaking about the temple of a Krishna Shri Kirti. He wasn't talking just about a building. He was speaking about wherever devotees were gathered together with Krishna in the center. Machchata Matkata Bodha. Wherever they were gathered together to speak the glories of Krishna, to share Krishna with each other and keep Krishna in the center of their lives. That is Vaikuntha. Because it is the residence of the Supreme Lord. Years ago, in the 70s, I resided for New, in New Vrindavan in America for some time. And Chaitanya Charitamrita came out, and there was a purport where Srila Prabhupada wrote that our new Vrindavan community in America is none different than Goloka Vrindavan because devotees are gathered there with Krishna in the center. Well, some of the devotees became really proud. You see, we're Goloka Vrindavan. You should leave whatever temple you're in and come here, because this is Goloka Vrindavan. The tendency is always there in religious circles. But then I saw Prabhupada wrote that wherever the devotees are gathered together, in any temple, anywhere in the world, in that spirit, that is Goloka Vrindavan. Because Krishna's present, when the devotees come together with his in the center, Material existence is a place of a hunker, the false ego, where everyone tries to put themselves in the center. Either themselves or their extended selves in the form of their caste, or their race, or their sex, or their religion, or their community, or their nation. Whatever they identify with is in the center of existence. Srila Prabhupada gave example of the pond. When you throw stones in different places of the pond, from each stone it forms a circle where 
other circles begin to expand and they all collide with each other. But if all the stones are thrown in the same place, then the circles are agreeing with each other. There's no conflict. Srila Prabhupada often said the only problem of this world is a lack of Krishna consciousness. That means putting the illusory ego in the center of our existence. But as soon as we actually put Krishna in the center of our existence, our life comes in harmony. This is real yoga, the essence, the perfection of yoga, where we are united with Krishna. And we are reunited with each other in Krishna. And it was for this reason that Srila Prabhupada established temples all over the world. Not only large temples like Bhakti Vedanta Manor, but temples in people's homes, temples in people's hearts, his books. Our temples.